Hey everybody, it's time for another Redneck Review. This is Robert Lawrence, the Red Prince, and today we're going to be going over Nova, number 13 in the Marvel Now line. It's a $3.99 book. Uh, picks up from the last issue left off. Uh, this one, as you all know, I've had nothing but good things to say about the uh, Nova story, and this one uh, is going to be no different. Uh, it picks up, like I said, it picks up from the last issue we went on, where I thought it was more of a self-contained story. It turns out they're going to go back to that with Beta Ray Bill, uh, which we knew they said was going to happen, but it, uh, the way this thing ended up, I didn't understand where it was actually going. All right. Well, you all, if you all watched last time, you know that Nova went out into the universe and helped a uh, stranded uh, ship that was under the control of a villain who uh, was taking, uh, uh, taking uh, hostage Corbinites and using them as slaves. Um... And, uh, Nova didn't know that time and actually helped this guy fix his ship and uh, created a rift. And now Beta Ray Bill, the uh, alien friend of Thor, is come to uh, basically take him to justice. Well, the story starts off with uh, Sam back on Earth. He's enjoying his uh, new time here. He's his time back on Earth with his mother and everybody. And she's starting a new job. He tells him, "Hey." Don't forget, Sam, I need you to babysit tonight. It's my first night on the new job. She got a new job after her father's been missing, and she's uh, able to support her family now. And he goes, I know, Mom. He goes, you can roam on weekends and my night's off if your homework's done. Always if your homework's done. <laughs> yeah, great little, great little bit. You can relate to the kid on that one. He goes, got it. It sucks having responsibility, getting the way of my powers, and it says to himself. On the plus side, I just got back from my first big trip to space. I saved this weird, stra strange guy, Scar. It made me feel great, he says. I woke up today feeling invincible. And right in the middle of that, all of a sudden, he gets knocked off his skateboard by the high school bully, who um, just has it in for the dude. He goes, yeah, I don't, he goes, I don't want, he goes, my back, he goes, I don't, know what I did to make you hate me so much, Moffat. I got two weeks of attention, the uh, bully tells him right here. And the, uh, you guys can't see it. It's really uh, really clear on this one, but he goes, As I got two weeks of attention. That's your fault for ratting to uh, Philbin. I didn't rat. He saw you hit me, Moffat. Now, give me back my bag. Give me the bag back, and I won't hand you your butt. He goes, shut up. And they start fighting back and forth. He goes, he goes, wow, what have you got in here, rocks? He goes, he goes, you want rocks? He picks up a thing of granite, grabs it, and throws it in his eyes. All of a sudden, da 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 Beta Ray Bill shows up. He says, you must pay for your crimes. Well, all of a sudden, the guy, the uh, bully starts to freak out. He yells up. He goes, he started. He goes, Sam, run, you idiot. Monster, runs. He stop, starts, keep running. He keeps running ways he do. He runs head first into a sign and knocks himself out. And uh, <laughs> there's this picture of Beta Ray Bill standing over him with the Stormbreaker. And he's uh, he goes, "Rise, Black Nova." And apparently, because he was holding the bag which held a um, the uh, Nova's helmet and the sources of power. I think that's why he's going on about. It. He goes, "Arise, Black Nova, and answer for your transgressions. There is no point in denying it. My enchanted." Mallet has traced the Nova Force right to you. Hey, stay back. This guy was already dumb as a rock. He doesn't need any more head injuries. <laughs> He's like, he goes, I did not even lift a finger against Nova. Are you his squire? He goes, one. He goes, Sam goes, one. I'm nobody's squire. Two, the kid is nobody. And three, put, he takes the helmet out of his, uh, Barry Bill's hand. Grab says, I'm Nova. And I wonder if Dad ever had to fight a horse. He, all of a sudden, Barry goes, Wah! He goes, if, if you are Nova, I am, then you are a disgrace to all those who came before you. And being that Barry Bill's the alien, he's met most of the Novas. He's fought in many comics alongside it. Uh, it starts off with just a barrage of power between the two, between the Stormbreaker and the Nova Force. And, you know, the banter just goes from there. He goes, here's how it's going to go. You're going to leave Earth and never come back. Or so help me, I will. You know, Barry Bill obviously is the more powerful here. He's just 
lets him go, lets the power on him. Uh, he goes, this is my, my, it is my piece that shall be done. He just lets the hammer loose, gravity and lightning and everything goes around the side here. And uh, he manages to put the note to the ground and he does that famous move from the original Thor movie. He puts his hammer on his chest and uh, you know, just lays it on him. He goes, he goes, why did you aid Captain Scar? And he's basically interrogating him. He goes, um, come on. He goes, it's useless to try and move that hammer, Nova. No answer. Now answer my questions. You aided one of the darkest souls in our quadrant. I want to know why. Well, as is going on, obviously Nova is trying to figure out a way to get through here, and he tells him, he goes, oh. he goes, are you so, cr cr and well, you know, Barry Bill's uh, chanting, you know, I figured, figured the horsey's hammer worked like, um, me, me, Joel, me, I can't remember the name of Thor's hammer, Thor's hammer. I knew I couldn't lift it off the ground, but maybe I could move the ground beneath the earth. So he just targets all of his uh, gravity-defying powers on uh, the rocks below, makes more of a crevice. So the hammer, by physics, just basically slides off of him, and he goes, he goes, you could not possibly move it, and he gives Nova just enough time to uh, come back and uh, make a recovery. So he piles through there, starts beating the snot out of uh, Bay Ray Bill. He goes, true, you saw my people attack. And he just keeps asking about the uh, attack. And Barry Bill tells him, True, you saw my uh, people attack uh, the ship, but that's because the ship was a slave trader. He finally explains the whole situation to Sam, and he gets mad because he thought he was doing the right thing. He takes his helmet down, kicks it, starts being on the ground. He goes, So, are you friends with Thor? He's like, He's with a hammer. Are you friends with Thor? He goes, He goes, Yeah. How, how did you guess? And he's like, He's like, Yeah, just a quirk. He goes, Listen, young Nova, Sam. Listen, Sam, I can see you're upset to learn you helped a true villain. But I have no more time to spend on Earth. I came to see what your role in this misadventure was. Now I must find Skarn and save my people before any further harm comes to them. And Sam looks at him and goes, I want to help. You know, I made this mess, I need to clean it up. And he says, I speak to your character that you want to clean up this mess. He goes, he goes, all right, fine, you know, you come with me and we'll figure this out together. He goes, okay, I've just got to go take care of a couple things first. Well, as you know, it's in there, he was supposed to uh, babysit his little sister. And uh, he's got to go get his sort of love interest to watch her now. now. So uh, he uh, he's a major league uh, out of it. Well, the police come in, uh, and the story swifts over back to where the battle was. And... Um, the police are after Moffat, who is a, uh, a bully, and he goes, he goes, look, you know, I fought this alien off, and, uh, and it killed this kid, Sam Alexander, and, uh, you know, I, I deserve a medal and stuff like that. Well, the guy comes up to him and says, all of a sudden, Sam starts slaying around on his, uh, skateboard. They're like, oh, I thought he was dead. He goes, he, he wasn't dead, I exaggerate a little bit, but he, he'll tell you there was an alien through here. He goes, is that... Sam looks at the police and he goes, I think this kid has sunstroke or something. I saw him run around yelling about a horse and a cape, and then he knocked himself out on that pole. That's not true. You can't say that to them. He goes, so I better go do my homework. So, you know, like, a, he basically just leaves him for the cops and everything like that. Well, anyway, he has to explain what's going on to his mom. Um, she uh, basically accepts that you know, there's going to be, uh, he's not going to be able to do it. He's got to go take care of this as Nova. I think it's really cool that they've written how the relationship works between the two of them and things like that. Well, um, she says, well, who are you going into space with? And she's like, oh, okay. He goes, he goes he's like, oh, I bet my dad never brought back home like this. Well, we see this lovely little shot of them trying to figure out how they're going to find the ship. And, um, Bay Ray Bill is uh, trying to find a way to find it. He opens up a portal. Yada, yada, yada. Basically, they're going to go find Scar and the Captain and save the people. All right, guys. Well, um, for Nova number 13, this basically was a you know, recap of the last issue. Um, 
But the two cool thing about these two issues are they were self-contained issues. They uh, didn't really rely on each other, but they drew from each other. So I'm going to give the actual story a five. It's a good little story with Nova. You get plenty of Nova. You get plenty of action in this story. Uh, the art, magnificent. It, uh, it's the cartoony art. What we've come to really, it's one of the few things I really liked about the Marvel now. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm really digging it. So all in all, good day for the Marvel now with the first, last Iron Man one I did. And this one, I mean, it's just awesome. All right, guys, so there's your Redneck Review, a uh, five and a five all the way around for this uh, Nova number 13. Uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for listening. Uh, please keep us uh, informed how we're doing. If there's something you didn't like on here, let us know. Or if there's something you did like, let me know. I love criticism and uh, encouragement. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later, and uh, God bless you all. Thank you so much.